Hey guys, welcome back to Recon and Raid. Sorry for the long hiatus. I've been gone doing secret squirrel stuff in the desert, far, far away from home. But I'm home now and back to doing videos. Uh, as you can tell, I've been offline since about last October, November time frame. But I'm back now and uh, back to doing videos. I've got a ton of cool kit to show you guys. Um, so why not kick it off with the best stuff first? And uh, first, I'm going to take you through all the uh, updated DA kit that I got. Uh, the first uh, cool piece being uh, this Cry AVS. I've been running this for about six months and a uh, fantastic plate carrier. Um, set up very similar to how my JPC was, but not 100% because uh, certain things that JPC uh, can do that this can't and vice versa. Um, so uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys all this stuff here in a minute. But first... Roll that intro. So the very first thing I'm going to show you guys is my Geisley 14 and a half inch Super Duty. Um, take you from uh, tip to bud here, starting on the very end. Got a Surefire RC2 Mini. Next to that, Surefire Scout Vampire. This has the uh, bezel with white white light uh, IR or uh, off mode to help save the battery. Great piece of kit, worth every penny. Very expensive, but worth every penny. Uh, Above that, D-Ball A3, great piece of kit. Behind that, got the uh, Unity pressure pad. First button uh, controls the uh, laser module, second button controls the light. Behind that, EOTech. Under that, got a uh, BCM 20 round mag. Those are nice to keep the rifle light. I don't run it all the time, but um, a lot of times it's in there. Makes it, makes it a really light package all together with, but uh, I, I go back and forth. And then uh, this rifle comes uh, standard with a B5 SOP mod stock. But yeah, this is my fighting rifle. And uh, can't forget the uh, VTAC sling. I've been running this sling since uh, probably 2017. And it uh, has never failed me. Great sling. Love it. And uh, actually bought the second one in the nod padded version. And uh, I always go back to the padded one. The padded one's great. Um, highly recommend it. Um, they sell it on Amazon, all the colors and everything. Great piece of kit. And while we're at it, let's pull out another piece of kit you guys have never seen before. Uh, this is my Glock 19. It is highly customized. And no, it's not a 19X. This is just a 19. Yeah, I have the Zev SOCOM slide on it. Great, great slide. Highly recommend it. Trigicon RMR with uh trigicon suppressor height sights sorry it's not on there you go and uh beneath that i've got the uh tlr uh vir this is a fantastic piece of kit and the uh, ir light and laser on it is really freaking bright and a much shorter package than the uh, surefire um offering for pistol lights and I'm sure it's it's not as rugged, but uh, I've never had an issue with this one. I've been running it for uh, probably three or four years now, and uh, and it's also what what I love about it is it's a very short package. I, I also EDC this pistol, so uh, for it being a short package, unlike the Surefire, the Surefire light would dig into you all the time if you're carrying appendix, but uh, but this doesn't. Nice short package, and at the price point, you can't beat it. I got it for like 360 bucks. I don't, I don't know what it's at now. Um, but beneath that, I've got the uh, Overwatch Precision Tack Trigger and the uh, Cagworks Extended and Raised Slide Release. And uh, that is a fantastic piece of kit. Lets you get a super good purchase on the gun and, uh, and release the slide super quickly too. Um, so highly recommend that. Not very expensive. Um, I've also got on it a uh, Silencer Co. Threaded Barrel. 
Um, I've ran this pistol comped before and, and suppressed everything else. Um, and this is a great barrel to uh, facilitate that. And uh, I, all right, I'll kind of take you guys through uh, how this kit is set up because it's set up a little differently than my JPC is. Um, but overall, you know, a lot is in the same places. But um, got the uh, Juggernaut phone mount right here. Um, just got temporarily stored my uh, mission codes and stuff. Um, this goes on my goes on my wrist, but uh, I just keep it stored in here when I'm when I'm not wearing my plate carrier. Um, never had an issue with Juggernaut. I know some people um, have said that they've broken them, but in my experience with my team, no one's broken them, and we've been running them for uh, probably four or five years now. If I had to guess, we weren't running them for a long time. Um, up front. Um, two Lancer mags and a uh, mag full of tracers up front. Um, AWS Nutruck did have to take the place of my Spiritus Systems dangler that I was running um, just because, uh, number one, like the flop and the noise of running a dangler has been bugging me over the years. And, uh, and I just had the uh, wherewithal one day, woke up and was like, why don't I just run my Nutruck in place of, of a dangler? And uh, so I've been doing that for the last four, five, six months and never been happier. It's a great way to. All right, y'all. I'm going to use my uh, survival knife to uh, point out the rest of what's going on here. Um, but yeah, let me take you through um, some of the, uh, some of the things that have changed with this setup and then uh, um, what's kind of the same. All right. Still rocking the uh, tag embedder pouch. Still rocking the. Uh, Spirit of Systems, um, GP uh, Medium, I think it is for nods, and it, you know, still rocking the uh, padded insert for that too. Um, can't go wrong there. Perfect setup. Still rocking the AWS uh, tourniquet holder with the uh, cat in there. Even the uh, the uh, cry assault back panel um, got smoke on one side, bangers on the other. Um, blacked out American flag. Um, also running just like last time, my uh, horizontal mags. But this these, this is actually attached to the uh, cry back panel. So you've got the horizontal mags that come stock with it. Whereas before, I had uh, one of the dangler rigs for that. Um, still got the uh, tubular nylon. That's a necessity. Um, I explained why in my other videos. Um, got like 30, 40 feet there. And... Uh, Went, went to uh, daisy chaining it. I had it uh, um, folded up before and uh, held together with parachute bands, um, but I, I just like the Swiss roll better, and I've been running it that way for a while. Um, still got the uh, AWS um, blowout kit, or having an extra, excuse me, have an extra turn again. Having an extra um, IFAC uh, comes in pretty good handy if uh, I don't have that CLS bag on me for whatever reason. Um, moving on. Um, this pouch has uh, SSE bags and uh, flex cuffs in it. And then the bottom pouch here, this is just um, a bunch like signaling and uh, chem light bundle. And uh, pretty important to uh, have US flags and BS 17 panels. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, throwing up an American flag. Uh, can be a, a good hasty way of getting good guys to stop shooting at you. As always. And then we're kind of back to the front here. Got a banger uh, rubber banded on here. Um, might try and find a pouch, but I've kind of been liking this setup lately. But I probably will uh, end up going back to a pouch for there. And then uh, got Night Force lens cloth clipped up front. So Night Force is nice enough that if you uh, buy a scope from them for, you know, $4,000... They'll give you a lens cleaning cloth. So, how how sweet of them. All right, here is my war belt. I'll kind of take you from uh, right to left, or, uh, you know, as you're wearing it, it would be left to right, but whatever. So, frog personal retention lanyard. Um, still got the same tourniquet and uh, NPA set up as before. Um, still got the same uh, Happy Mag set up. I love the uh, double taco for Happy Mag. Just have both your Happy Mags in the same spot. Takes up way less real estate, and uh, it's, it's just fantastic. Uh, still running a water bottle in there. Um, sometimes if I'm just wearing the belt and I need to wear a radio, I can jam that in there. This is the uh, Cry Embitter pouch, and uh, it's made to be able to hold a water bottle, Embitter, 
or uh, 762 or 556 mags. So nice pouch, pretty adaptable for whatever you're doing. Um, then I've got the uh, Blue Force Gear um, helium dump pouch, I'm pretty sure it's called. Um, next to that, got my trusty handy dandy Gerber. You guys have seen me seen that in a bunch of videos. Um, and then next to that, um, new piece of kit. Well, new to you guys, not new to me. I've had it for probably six months now, um, but I did not have this in the last video. I had a different LBT rig. Um, this is the uh, bigger one that LBT came out with. And uh, what's cool about this is um, you don't have that wire to pull that's a mess to put back together. Um, and this this one's pretty sweet because you just undo a buckle and then you got your IFAC in there. So how I have this set up, um, same IFAC as last time, but on the outside, I've got a... Uh, I've got a, um, a soft tee and a pouch uh, with uh, trauma shears um, added onto that right on top. So even if this isn't undone, I can still access these trauma shears if I need to. So um, this is a great pouch. Absolutely love it. Highly recommend it. Um, way better than the, uh, the old ones with the wire. Um, moving on down here, smoke grenade pouch in the same spot and uh, pistol same spot and uh, got that uh, sideways happy mag uh, right there in the same spot as well. All right, everybody, that concludes this video. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I've missed you guys. I know the feeling is mutual. You guys have been hounding me to put out some more videos. Well, here you go. And uh, I'm happy to report that we have done a ton of filming today, so there is a ton of content coming your ways. That's what the uh, crazy face paint's about. But you guys will see that later on down the road because. There is going to be a lot of videos coming your way, um, and it's going to take a long time to edit all of them. So you'll have a steady supply of videos for probably the next week or two. But um, all right, if you haven't, make sure you guys like the video and uh, leave a comment with anything that uh, you think I might have missed or any questions that you have about the AVS um, or my kit in general. Um, and uh, as always, join the tribe, subscribe.